Merry Christmas, Dubbo. Thank you for being a part of the best year ever for Dubbo and Dubbo City Council. I wish you all the best over Christmas and have an absolutely wonderful new year. As a special treat, I've decided to do a Christmas poem for everyone. The poem is called A Politically Correct Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas and Santa's a wreck. How to live in a world that's politically correct. His workers no longer would answer to elves. Vertically challenged! They were calling themselves. And labour conditions at the North Pole were alleged by the Union to stifle the soul. And equal employment had made it quite clear that Santa had better not use just reindeer. So Dancer and Donna, Comet and Cupid were replaced with four pigs, which looks pretty stupid. <coughs> the runners had been removed from his sleigh. The ruts were deemed dangerous by the EPA. His widening girth was now frowned on as obese. His fur-trimmed suit had triggered a Peter media release. And people had started to call for the cops when they heard sled noises on their rooftops. And to show you the strangeness of life's ebbs and flows, Rudolph was suing for unauthorised use of his nose. <coughs> and had gone on 60 Minutes across the entire nation, demanding millions of dollars in compensation. So, half of his reindeer were gone, and his wife, who suddenly said, Enough with this life! joined a self-help group and left in a whiz, demanding from now on her title was Ms. And as for the gifts, why, he never had a notion that making a choice could cause so much commotion. Nothing of leather, nothing of fur, which meant nothing for him and nothing for her. Nothing that could be construed to pollute, nothing to aim, nothing to shoot. Nothing that clamoured or made lots of noise. Nothing for just girls. Nothing for just boys. Nothing that claimed to be gender specific. Nothing that's warlike or non-pacifistic. No lollies or sweets. They will lead to decay. And nothing too suggestive like red lingerie. And fairy tales, while not yet forbidden, were like Ken and Barbie, better off hidden. No cricket, no football, someone could get hurt. Besides, playing sports exposes kids to dirt. Dolls were said to be sexist and should be passe. And Nintendo could rot your entire brain away. So, Santa just stood there, disheartened, perplexed. He just could not figure out what to do next. He tried to be merry, tried to be gay, but you've got to be careful with that word today. His sack was quite empty, limp to the ground. Nothing fully acceptable was to be found. Something special was needed, a gift that he might give to all without angering the left or the right. A gift that might satisfy with no indecision. Every group of people, every religion. So here is that gift to be spread far and near. Merry Christmas to you all and a happy new year. Have a great Christmas, everyone. <laughs>